with Liverpool and Manchester United on the market and the likes of Chelsea and AC Milan already having changed ownership in 2022. Another major European name are assessing their options. Stopping short of a full sale, Qatar Sports Investment QSI, the owner of Paris Saint-Germain who have been willing to underwrite major losses in pursuit of placing the French club at the summit of world football, are on the lookout for fresh capital. Liverpool and Manchester United, while both open to minority investment, have but pushed the door ajar to welcome expressions of interest when it comes to a full takeover, with Fenway Sports Group at Liverpool understood, according to well-placed sources in the US, to have placed a $4 billion, around $3.4 billion parceling valuation on the club, while Manchester United's owners, the Glazer family have been reportedly looking for closer to $6 billion parceling. QSI who have owned PSG since 2011. The club's ownership, fronted by Nasser al Halifi, are a subsidiary of Qatar's sovereign wealth fund. The Qatar Investment Authority, with revenues regenerated from QSI investments reinvested into Qatar sport, leisure, and entertainment sectors. The country where this year's World Cup takes place currently. The PSG owners are looking to sell 15% of their stake a move designed to bring in some fresh capital to aid further growth projects for the club. With the owners looking at the building a new stadium having called the aging Park des Prince their home since 1974. It is a stadium they do not own with PSG tenants and the ownership of the ground held by the Council of Paris. In not owning their own stadium, PSG are hamstrung in some aspects when it comes to growth and further monetization of a tangible asset like a stadium. While the club have been active in seeking to make themselves something of a lifestyle brand through their sponsorship from Nike and its subsidiary Air Jordan brand, even opening a retail unit on New York's famous Fifth Avenue growing from their home base has been more of a challenge. But the valuation that has been placed on the club will have raised some eyebrows at Liverpool and among the FSG hierarchy whose move to allow expressions of interest in a full sale has been motivated by them wanting to test the waters, according to a well-pleased source in the US. PSG chief al Halifi told the Financial Times that the 15% stake that was being made available for purchase was based on a valuation of the club 4 billion euro, around 3.5 billion parcelain, a figure that would place it higher than what Liverpool were deemed to be seeking. That comes despite PSG playing in a smaller market league with a far smaller media rights, not owning their own stadium and having a balance sheet that saw them lose 320 million parcelling in their most recent financial year, not helped by carrying the burden of a wage bill that includes the likes of Kylian Mbappe, Neymar Jr. and Lionel Messi. PSG revenues also were far short of what Liverpool are expected to post, the rest likely to see revenues of 600 million parceling against a profit of around 70 million parceling when their accounts are published in early 2023, while PSG saw revenues of 480 million parceling for their most recent financials. The recent stocks of clubs owners looking to either sell an equity share or part company with an asset altogether has been motivated by a few factors not least sale of Chelsea at 2.5 billion parceling and the huge amount of interest that generated. Another reason for some club owners is the failure of the European Super League to get off the ground. PSG were never a part of those plans. While the inability of Project Big Picture to gain traction in the Premier League is understood to have been a particularly bracing blow for the likes of FSG and the Glazer family. But with PSG providing their own clear valuation of what they feel they are worth, FHG may be emboldened to hold out for more from any would-be sitter given how much more they have to offer for the price.